This is a videoized small biz diary entry for what I did to my space for an amazing 2015 year so that I could be in my office in a space that I love, want to stay in, want to work in, and uh, here's what I did. Here's the behind the scenes. So first of all, I had to address the issue of me not working in this space anymore. After an entire summer of DIY daycare, my kids had taken over my office, which also is a playroom, but really they have their own bedrooms and they've taken over our dining room. So I needed to take back this space. Here's a little bit behind me of like the rest of the room. You can see that's my kids' little shop when they make smoothies and that's all their coats and there's my painting. But, all right, I had to take back the space. So here's what I did. First, I had to recognize that I wasn't working in here anymore. I was working in our kitchen, which I kept really, really clean um, so that I felt like put together in it. So I needed to realize that I wasn't feeling put together here in my space. So the next thing I had to do was take everything apart. And I do that best at night with no one around. So this was two nights of night work and then morning coffee time work. So this wasn't on my agenda for Monday and Tuesday of my power back to work week. But I slid it in there because, really, what's the point of doing your to-do list if you can't sit at your desk? Okay, so here's what I did. The next thing I did was I had to listen to my yearnings. What was I yearning to do? And I had to be true to myself. And this can be anything. And for me, this year, it was I wanted buckets of markers next to me at all times. I know, it's kind of weird, but I've been setting it up for my daughter. She gets little things of, of paint brushes, little things of markers. She's become very good at organizing them, and I love that stuff too. So what I did was I went to Target. I love going to Target and walking around. That's why I love shopping experiences. It helps me get ideas. So I went, I always look in the dollar items, and I got these cute little buckets here. Let's see if we can see them close up. And I'm going to put, here's my paint pens and color pens, and then there's two more buckets for what will come next. So I'm happy about that. I can grab a color pen and color in any color. So far, blue has been for tin shingle. That's what I'm doing. Next was, I had to identify what is giving me angst. And one thing that's giving me angst is my to-do lists or note piece, like pieces of paper I take notes on. I've been liking to take notes on blank, clean pieces of eight and a half by 11 paper, but I don't know what to do with them afterwards. Cause if they're not, like if I didn't do the item that I wrote down, I keep the paper. So there's been piles of paper building up everywhere. They look like this. Let's see, and it's on my desk. So what I did was, Target, saw a binder in Target and I thought, I love binders. Too bad I'm not in school anymore, but then, the next day I went to Target and I thought, Katie, you can be in school. Just get a binder. It's going to hold all of your notes. Ha ha. This is what's going to hold my notes. So let's take a look. This pretty binder. Can we see it? Yes. I got a binder and then I got these dividers that are going to go inside of it to organize what kind of notes. Did I take notes of a sales call? Did I take notes on a meeting? Um, you know, and then it's going to go into these different bind these little dividers so they can organize those types of notes. Is it just is it a bunch of to-do list items that are just in my head and need to get down on paper? That's that. Um, next thing, I do this all the time, but I'm saying it to you, is for your, I've been working in a home office for more than 10 years, so I'm pretty good at it. I love it. I would, I think next year, maybe want to be in an away office, but that's the thing for 2016. Um, but what's really important to having your own space in your house, even if you do have an office, but you come home and you have an office at home or a desk at home that you just do bills on or whatever, it's really important to respect your own boundaries in your own space. Um, and so a lot of times in people's home desks, other people in their houses, like their partners, put stuff on their desks. Like, here, deal with this stuff, desk, and it gets messed up. And then really you just have piles of things on your desk and you never ever want to sit there because who wants to sit in chaos? So you do need to have a nice conversation with your partner um, to talk about those boundaries and what can and cannot go on your desk. But you need to play a role too and you need to have a system for where things go. Because if your partner doesn't know where stuff goes, 
he or she is just going to put it on your desk. So you need to develop your own systems so that stuff can go in a place. Let's talk about me again. I have systems back here on my bookshelf. That's where my bills go. This is where my first drawing books went. They're very important to me. They go there. But I set them up five years ago, and I've outgrown them. And they were, like, messy, really messy. So I undid them all, and I put back in what I'm using currently because this was a five-year-ago system. So I'm putting this into the 2015 system. A lot of stuff went into the trash. A lot of stuff actually got filed. Um, a lot of stuff got re-systemized, um, like my modem. I don't need my modem there any, what is it doing collecting dust on my pretty bookshelf? That got booted. So I really just had to realize what do I want close to me, and then I redid those. So this is a big deal. I know it's not a business agenda item, but for me to have clarity in my business and to feel happy and to sit here and produce the work, um, this is what I did. Oh, the final thing I did was... I got new curtains. I really bought them for the living room, but I realized it is so bright in my office because I have all windows. It's sort of like being in a ship, and I love it. But two things happen. One, I look outside my driveway or my yard, and I want to go out there and do things. So I needed to close the distraction. The other thing was it was so bright, it would actually get really bright on my eyes and I would get a mystery headache and I would feel much better in a, a dimmer kitchen or a kitchen with just warmer lights. So I got new curtains and I do need to hem them. They're very long. Um, but this is wall to wall curtains and this is my new system. This is my new life in the office. So thanks for listening. Um, let me know what you did. I love looking at everyone's ideas, especially if they involve paper stationery. Thanks.